got this uh, nice uh, aluminum sheet. It's um, 48 inches, as you can see here. 48 inches wide. And I believe it is 80 inches long. Yeah, you can see here. Well, that corner is cut off. So at least 81, 82 inches. Um, it is uh, aluminum panel here. So what I'm trying to see is what size of rivets I need to buy in order to mount this wall panel onto the 1.5 inches square tubing aluminum tubing so I can uh, attach this metal uh, aluminum metal to my to my as a wall to my camper and uh, here we go so we're gonna try to use this gauge to try to gauge it okay so let's uh, turn it on and uh, let's uh, see what we got. So we got 1.17 millimeter. Sorry, 1.7 millimeter. 1.7 millimeter. Okay. So 1.7 millimeter. That's uh measure it again three point oh millimeter I don't believe this I think it's yeah I think it's one point seven millimeter one point eight millimeter point zero three inches 0 0.04 inches. So this is really, um, this is really the 040, 040 aluminum. That's what I believe. You know, this is the 040 aluminum. See that? 040. See? That's the 040 aluminum. So this is the 040 aluminum that I'm using. Um, O4 aluminum is um, my belief. Okay, so there you have it. So this is the aluminum I'll be using. Okay, it's a coffee, coffee color or the brown color. Okay, so we are going to, um, I'm going to show you how to number the panels here, you know, so let me maximize this. So basically, this is a 3D uh, with two different uh, angle views of my truck camper. And um, uh, what I'm saying is basically I'm trying to number these uh, because I do have five panels in these two different sizes, 48 by 120 inches and 48 inches by 80 inches so um you know so uh, essentially so now i'm just uh, trying to walk you through how i number these uh aluminum panels so i'm saying panel one uh so the first three panels are uh, numbered uh, panel one panel two panel three the, it's 48 by 120 inches 40 inches by 120 inches and two panels, uh, 4880, I just uh, labeled them as uh, panel four, panel five, okay? And the B1, B2 that you see up here is just the, to buy panels, but B1 is this one, and B2, B3, all the way to B8. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, show you how I utilize um, <clears throat> panel one to build <clears throat> 4880 so I'm saying the this um, this is uh, 
4580 is going to come from the panel 1. Uh, I'm going to cut from the panel 1. So that's what I'm trying to do here, 45 by 80, and which is this um, first part of the roof. And I'm saying that's 45 by 80. So there we go. As you can see, I'm drawing a line to show you that uh, the 45 by 80 is going to be residing here. It's going to be cut here. So 45 and 80. So this piece is going to be cut to placed on the roof here. And then we got uh, this second part here 48 by 40 so I'm going to show you how I use the rest which is uh, right here 2144 um, I'm saying that's panel 1 P1 okay I'm saying so this P1 is going to come from this piece here and it's uh, 21 inches by 44 inches. So, I mean, so you can see the 21 by 44 is going to be able to fit in this second half here, which is the 40 by 80 or 48 by 40. You know, 21, 44. So I'm saying that distance is about 21 inches and this distance is about 44 inches. I'm actually drawing the, the size of 2144. So the vertical distance is 44 inches and the horizontal is 21 inches. So 2144 is this one piece here this one piece here and which is the lower front part of the panel yeah so I'm erasing that 2144 up there because I made a new label here 21 so this piece is 4580. I know it's uh, not 4880. It's 45 or 4580. So it's you know, and then I uh, you know just drew a line so that uh, to show you that this piece is gonna cover this piece, which is P1. And then I have oh yeah, I have number eight and number five so let me see if I can fit number five these two panels into these this area so first I say I need an 18 and 24 So 18 and 24. So the horizontal is 18 inches, the vertical is 24 inches. Okay. And then the next one is uh, 10 by 21. Let me see if I can fit the 10 by 21 in, in you know, the rest of the area. I actually have 10 by 21 and 10 by 24. So it's essentially 20 by 24. So 
this is 24 and this gives me 24 and this is 21 so this gives me uh, 19 but I only need uh, two pieces 10 by 24 which is what I'm drawing here and the other one is just 10 by 21 so as you can see here I'm trying to extend that so this one is the 10 by 21 or 21 by 10 and then do I have this 10 by 24 uh, so yeah, so um, you know, just yeah. So this is B five is going to be covered by these two red piece. Still have the ten by twenty four. So I don't know if I. But you can see, this area should should give me enough. To get to cover the ten by twenty four because basically it's here, you know. So that'll give that that'll cover this ten by twenty four. So that's the end of the tape. So let me um quickly walk you through these two panel the, these two um, so let's start from the right hand side of this strong camber so what I'm saying is um, this piece is going to be covered by P1 and this piece is going to be covered by P2 this key piece is going to be covered by P3 and there is going to be some leftover so that use up the first three panels here okay and then there's some left over as you can see you know um, and then um, this 4.24 by 80 uh, I'm saying it will be covered by where is that 4.24 by 80 oh here we go 4.24 by 80 I'm saying use p5 p5 is 48 by 80 you know and so the width is 80 um, but the length is only four point, or the length is eighty, but the width is only four point two four, um, and that's going to be uh, covered by P five here. And the front, um, let me let me finish this this area here first. So I got uh, these top four pieces all covered, and now. Um, this is these are all the back pieces okay in the back let's just jump over so I'll circle back to the cover these small pieces because this is where the doors and AC and so forth is uh, let me jump to the left side so we cover the front the roof okay right here p1 p2 p3 and this little piece is p5 like a row here number five number four sorry and uh, let's go to the front. The front, I'm saying 14.1 by 80, 21 by 80, and 5.7 by 80 are covered. Are going to be covered by P5. P5 is 48 by 80. As you can see, you know the width is all 80, but the length is 14, 21, and 5.7, and that adds up to about 35 uh, plus 5, so 41. 41 by 80, that's the P5. There's still a little bit left over, that's why I did the 4.2. Um, and then um, you can see this this 48 by 80, I don't have anything, so I'm going to bind them. I say that's the B1 here, okay? And then uh, let's go, uh, B2 is 35 by 55. I need two pieces, because it's going to be on both sides of the truck camper. Uh, that's the B2. And then this one is 35 by 75, and it's going to be on both sides. So I need, so I need two panels. Uh, the size are 35 by 75 each. And then uh, come down to here. This is B4, which is um, 24 by 75. Again, on both sides, and it's a mid box. Um, 
and then over here it's um, 24 by 80 which is just one piece which I call that B6 and then uh, B5 is this piece here which rests on the uh, truck fence, the top of the truck fence um, the, the, the bed uh, area truck fence it's 18 by 75 I need two pieces one on the left one the other on the right or one on the driver's side the other on the passenger side so 18 by 75 I'm gonna buy them B5 then come down to here I got um, 21 by 75 which is the bottom uh, sides uh, which is which is these two sides sit inside of the truck fence 21 by 75 I need two pieces and then I have the 10 by 35 no 10 by 35 that's the back piece so before I go there I want to say this 21 by 44 which is P1 21 by 44 which is uh, 21 by 44 P1 oh it's this piece here see 2144. Um, 2144. 2144. Uh, I don't think I wrote it out here, but um, 2144. I did um, write this out. So 21. P, it's P1. 2144 here. And then this piece is 40, 40 by 75, which is P4. Um, this P4 is 48 by 80. So that that piece is enough to cover this bottom so basically I now you can see between here the left hand side my panel uh, the panels I uh, recycle from the Craigslist for free and the right side to buy I cover both sides of the truck camper and the bottom as well so now what's left is just this back piece so um, this piece is the door piece okay so over here it's 10 by 21 on both sides of the door um, it's 10 by 21 so I'm saying 10 by 21 I'm going to use here 10 by 21 so I need two pieces I'm going to use P1 and P2 to cover these two pieces as you can see I draw here um, 10 by 21 and the next piece I need is 10 by 24 which is the middle piece right uh, next to my door here 10 by 24 10 by 24 which is uh, 8 and 9 and I'm going to use P1 and P2 which is the bigger panel 48 by 120 um, the next uh, two panels uh, towards the outside of the camper the mid for the mid box is 18 by 24 so 18 by 24 I need two of them again it, I'm going to use P1 and P2. So that covers the six panels one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I got one, two, three, four, four more to go. Again, uh, start with the two panels closest to the door, which is 10 by 35. Uh, 10 by 35, I say I don't have it, I need to buy. That's B8. Okay, I need to buy two pieces, um, 48 by 48. Um, so I'm, uh, instead of uh, buying 10 by 35, I decided to buy 48 by 48 because uh, 10 by 35, I need two pieces that basically I need 20 by 35, you know, so 48, 48 is enough to cover them. Then um, the walk to the outside, that's 18 by 35, um, which is this panel here, 18 by 35, um, 7, I'm going to use P3, the leftover of P3. To, um, to because uh, P three I only use forty, um, P three I only use thirty six by eighty. I still got um, a big, you know, so thirty six by eighty. I still got a big forty forty eight, and that's gonna cover my number seven, which is eighteen by thirty five. You know, so I need thirty six by thirty five. Uh, but I I got this big piece here forty forty eight. So that should be enough to cover. So P3, that should be enough to cover this seven, you know. So, and this door is going to be uh, 80 inches tall and 80 inches tall and 24, uh, 44 inches wide. No, sorry, 24 inches wide, 80 inches tall. 
I know uh, the door may not be this tall, so I may cut it down to 72 inches. Well, 72 inches is 6 feet, um, so 80 inches, 72 inches. Well, either way, if I do cut, um, if I do get a door size that's uh, 24, uh, 70, uh, 72 inches by 44 inches, then what I'll do is I put, I, I'll add an angle um, iron, uh, sorry, angle aluminum here. Um, so I need a panel of uh, 6 by 24. 6 by 24, I should have it some leftover from this 48 by 48. That's why I want to buy a 48 by 48 just in case uh, I need additional uh, panel for um, filling the door. So there you have it. Um, uh, you know, watch uh, as I order my panel and aluminum square tubing to build this great truck camper. Stay tuned and follow. Subscribe.